guys welcome back to another video today we are going to talk about the things you need to know before you decide to self-publish if you find this video helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you like make sure you subscribe because i post content on self-publishing and writing and just documenting my entire writing journey the first thing you need to know is that it's not enough to just be a writer you are going to wear many hats as a self-published author you are going to be a formatter you're going to have to be a marketer you're gonna to have to be a designer because you're probably gonna to have to design your website um, unless you have tons of money that you can just outsource all these things which in that case it is great but at the very least you're going to have to learn how to market yourself how to market your books even if you were traditionally published you would still need to know these things but even more so if you are self-published because it is not just enough to be a writer. You have to wear many hats. The next thing you need to know before you self-publish is that you are probably going to need some money. And that's probably the one thing you don't wanna hear, but it's I'm just being honest with you, you do need money to self-publish. Yes, you can self-publish initially for free. You can upload to KDP. Well, first you can write your book for free, then you can, um, using Word, then you can also Upload it to KDP for zero dollars. You can create your own cover um, in Canva. You can do the editing yourself. You can promote the book on social media for free. You can do all those things for free. But I highly recommend that you do not do any of these things. Unless you are a cover designer, I highly encourage you to hire someone to create your cover. Unless you know how to format the, your novels, you need to hire someone to format your novel. If you, even if you do know all these things, you definitely, definitely need to have your book professionally edited. Even if you are an editor, I think that you would probably still need someone else to look at your book because you need the outside, um, those outside eyes, you know, somebody else that's not so attached to your book. So yes, you can definitely publish for free, but I don't recommend it. So in other words, you're going to need money if you decide to self-publish. The next thing you need to know before you self-publish is that it's going to take time, that you don't need to rush the process. It's going to, in fact, I recommend that you take time writing your book that doesn't mean take forever. Set yourself a, a deadline, maybe two years, maybe three, if that's what you need to write your book. Just don't spend the next 10, 20 years writing one book. If it's taking you that long, it's likely that maybe that's not the book for you. So maybe start a new one and then get back to it if you so you know desire. But definitely, it's going to take time not only to write your book, but to learn all the things that come with self-publishing. You're going to have to learn all the um, best places to upload your book and how to navigate those websites. You're going to have to, you know, research your genre and research all the things that come with just being an author and a self-published author and wearing those many hats that we talked about in the beginning. The next thing that you might not want to hear is that as a writer and self-published author, you're going to have to come out of your your introvert self. You're going to come out of your shell. I am a very introverted person. I do not like to, you know, be around other people and just be in public and public speaking. And I don't like any of these things. I can do the camera thing because there's no one here. If there were people in front of me, I would probably be dying right now. It's 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 very hard for me to speak and to be around other people. So but I have to do it. So I'm glad that I have this avenue, at least with YouTube, that I can be behind the camera and still show up without having all eyes on me at the time that I am doing it. But this is something that I'm working very hard on, you know, that I need to go do book signings. I need to go to book conferences. I need to do podcasts. I need to do all these things that I haven't actually got the courage to do just yet. I plan them. I say I'm going to do them, I schedule them, I cancel them, I avoid them, I have to do it. So that is something I've been writing now since 2009, self-publishing seriously since 2017. And I've never done anything in person because it just makes me so nervous. So that is something that even after all these years of writing and self-publishing, I, I still haven't managed to um, nail down and do myself but it's something that I know that I've seen other self-published authors do that I've seen them have success in because they are around other people it's not just 
behind the screen. So that is a goal of mine this year, as it always is, is to really get out there and be around other people that you know, um, want to read my book that maybe want to talk about the kind of books that I write. So that is something that you definitely need to think about before you self publish is that in order to have a successful book, it's not just enough to be behind the screen. Unfortunately, you're going to have to be face to face and get out there and be around other people. The next thing you need to know before you self publish is that unfortunately, you might not sell any books. You know, it's not that simple. It's not that easy to sell books, even especially when you're just counting on the behind the scenes and you're counting on yourself to do all the work. If you're not a super great marketer and you are afraid to be around other people, which means that you may not do podcasts or you may not go and do things in person, all these things affect the sales of your book. So if you don't have a really good marketing strategy or a marketing company behind you or someone that really can guide you in the direction of getting your book out in the hands of readers, you might not sell any books. But that doesn't mean that this will be the case forever. It just means that maybe your first, the first time you self-publish, you may not sell a lot of books, but maybe the next few times, the next five books that you sell will sell great. So don't be discouraged. That is not a reason to get discouraged if you don't sell any books. It just means you try again and you keep learning and you keep doing you know, the best that you can. And the best thing about this is that if you learn something with the second book you publish, you can, you can apply it to the first book you publish and your book is never dead. You can always refresh it by adding a new cover or maybe adding a new, um, a new, a story to it or maybe you can add a paperback or maybe you can add a hardcover or maybe you can now create the audiobook and just keep it alive as long as many years as you possibly can which brings me to the next point if you are going to be a self-published author and you hope to have a lot of success you're going to have to write more than just one book it's not about just having this one book and thinking that this is going to be your bestseller and this is it this is the the one and only book you're ever going to write and this is going to you know, take you to the next level. No, you're probably going to have to write many, many, many books in order to just establish a, a readership, to establish yourself as an author, to just, you know, get that experience under your belt, to get that, uh, that marketing, um, knowledge that you're going to need to make sure that each book gets out where it needs to get. So, um, don't just, you know, write the book, self publish it and then get on it and write the next one and then write the next one and write the next one. If you want to be a self published author and just have a career writing and self publishing, it's not just about one book. It's about many books. The next thing you need to know before you self publish is that you are going to make mistakes and that is perfectly okay. Even traditionally published authors make mistakes. You may find an error in your cover or you may find an error in your manuscript or you may post something that doesn't, you know, doesn't quite match what you had in your mind and you're just going to just do things that aren't exactly perfect and that is something you need to get used to and that's something that you need to be okay with it's okay to not be perfect no one is and the the sooner you get that through your head the sooner you can get out there and start writing and self-publishing and just moving on to all your books without that pressure that you, everything has to be perfect it's okay to make mistakes everyone does whether you're self-published or traditionally published that should never be a reason for you to either stop self-publishing or to not even start self-publishing and the last thing you need to know before you self-publish is that you are going to get overwhelmed with the many things that are coming your way there's when you decide that you are serious about self-publishing you are going to go out there and watch videos like this and everybody's going to have an opinion and everybody's going to have their thoughts and you might watch another video that tells you something completely different than what i've just told you that's okay what you need to do is stay your course. Know what it is that you want. Make sure you set your goals, set the deadline. What is it that you want? You want to write and self-publish this book by a certain date. What is it that you need to learn in order to do that? Is it that you want to learn how to be a better marketer so that your books get out there? Then focus on that. Get as much information as you can. Take what resonates with you, leave everything behind, but don't let it be a place where you're like, this is too much, I'm just going to stop. No, there's going to be a lot of information coming your way, but you need to just uh, need to know how to filter things out and stay the course, stay focused on what it is that you want to accomplish and then leave everything behind 
and then go ahead and self-publish. All right, you guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, as a reminder, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want, please subscribe to the channel. I am here as often as I can. I try to do it once a week, but I'm really struggling at the moment. But either way, if you want to know more about self-publishing, watch this video next. Until next time, God bless you.